Hello everyone. Today we are talking about the IP security protocol IPsec. IPsec works on the network layer of the ISO OC model. The main protection goals, even though it does cover other protection goals as well, are confidentiality and integrity of network traffic. Since it works on the network layer, it is agnostic towards anything above it, including transport protocol or application used. To quote Kent and CEO, IPsec is designed to provide interoperable, high-quality, cryptographically-based security for IPv4 uh, and IPv6. The set of security services offered includes access control, connectionless integrity, data origin authentication, detection and rejection of replays, a form of partial sequence integrity, confidentiality via encryption, and limited traffic flow confidentiality. These services are provided if the IP layer offering protection in a standard fashion for all protocols that may be carried over IP, including IP itself. These services are provided at the IP layer offering protection in a standard fashion for all protocols that may be carried over IP, including IP itself. There are two main protocols, the authentication header protocol AH and the encapsulating security payload protocol ESP. AH covers authenticity and integrity, while ESP initially covered only confidentiality. Now ESP covers all those three protection goals. Both IPsec protocols can be used in transport and tunnel mode, uh, but more on that later. First, let's look at the authentication header, which as previously stated covers the goals authenticity and integrity. The EH header is located behind the IP header of the original package. Let's look at what it contains from bottom to top. The integrity and authentication measures are realized via cryptographic hash functions, or HMAC. You can learn more about hash functions by clicking on the top right corner of the video. The HMAC is calculated with IP header data together with the AH header and the packets payload. Furthermore, the AH header holds the optional sequence number which is used to prevent replay attacks. Next, the Security Parameter Index SPI, points to the concrete cryptographic parameters used in this particular connection. It points to a security association that tells the protocol to use either HMAC SHA-1 or AES GMAC as message authentication code algorithms. As we could see, AH only cares about integrity and authenticity of the payload. As we'll soon see, both protection goals are also covered by the Encapsulating Security Payload Protocol ESP. That's why Andrew Tannenbaum rightfully proposed that AH is obsolete and is only still in place for historical reasons. That's why we'll focus a little bit more on ESP. As stated before, ESP covers authenticity, integrity and confidentiality. The format is a little bit different as you can see here. There are two ESP payloads introduced in the packet. First, the ESP header is again behind the original IP header and takes care of encryption and is preventing replay attacks. As was the case in the EAH protocol, the security parameters are referenced via the security parameters index. The second, the ESP trailer, is at the bottom of the packet and contains the authentication information. Contrary to the EAH protocol, in transport mode, the HMAC is only calculated over the ESP header and not the payload. The IP header, and thereby the origin of the packet, is not authenticated. Also, the IP header is not encrypted, meaning that the origin of the datagram is not concealed. However, both issues can be solved by using ESP in tunnel mode, rather than transport mode. The ESP header is now in front of the old IP header, which is both authenticated and encrypted, just as the payload. A new IP header is generated and the original datagram is encapsulated. Upon arrival at the destination, the datagram can be decrypted and integrity can be checked. This is also how VPNs operate and how your identity remains concealed while surfing using a VPN. Again, the question arises whether transport mode is necessary if tunnel mode exists. Niels Ferguson, Bruce Schneier uh, and myself think that it needs to be eliminated and that tunnel mode is the way to go. Finally, the integrity IPsec provides is only valid for the current datagram. There is no check of multiple datagrams in a row, since we are at a very low network layer uh, that is missing context. The only way to do this is via sequence numbers.
That concludes today's video, thanks for watching, tell me in the comments which topics you would like me to cover, like and subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video.